We are now joined by Sheke Odu Odojukang, who is the head of Chester Cross Schools. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thanks Thank you. Me. Thank you for joining us on the news. What are your thoughts on the recent news of the federal government's planning to reopen the schools? Well, it's very welcome news, you know, because um, schools cannot remain um, closed indefinitely. And so it's very, very welcome news. So, I mean, reopening the schools, you know, as we all know, is for the graduating um, students, the um, family six, GSS three, and SS three. So, I mean, I, I hope the schools will be able to put in measures that will ensure the um, health and safety of these children when they finally resume. Mm -hmm. Now, Lagos, as you do know, is the epicenter of the virus in Nigeria. Do you have alternative plans if the state doesn't reopen immediately? Okay, we, we, we remember that um, the schools were shut in uh, March and um, just very close to the Easter break. So the Easter break ended in April. And from April till now, the alternative measures have already been in place. You know, the online, the e-learning um, processes have been in place by some, um, some um, private schools, by most private schools. And then for the state schools, the Honorable Commissioner for Education of Lagos State mentioned that, um, you know, they would um, provide learning on the um, local and state TV and um, radio stations. So I believe, you know, that is the, I mean, alternate uh, process to mm -hmm. learning. So it has, it's been ongoing. Alternative learning has been ongoing. And so we'll just continue from where we are. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that it is good news uh, that the government is thinking of reopening school. You know, people, children need to go back to classes. What protocols and measures can uh, be taken to protect children, you know, when they resume back to school? Okay. Um, schooling is a partnership between um, the parents and the, and the school. So we expect that parents have schooled their children on how to keep um, safe and healthy from this um, um, pandemic. And so when we get to school, when they get to school, we too, we have our measures that we are putting in place. From the gates, the gate man has to be properly kitted. You know, he has to wear his um, mask and his shield, and then he has to have in hand the, um, the, um, the machine, the um, temperature mach machine, and then the... Um, you know, of course, we would have our sink and water and soap on the side for parents to, or visitors to wash their hands, and also the children to have their hands washed. Hmm. Or we we'll use the um, hand sanitizer, alcohol-based hand sanitizers, and then they walk into the school. And then, you know, when we get into the school, we have to make sure that there are measures in place to um, maybe pictures and um, literature on the walls, letting the children understand the um, importance of keeping social uh, distances and also the teachers to have to be, um, should I say COVID compliant? Maybe they will have to go for COVID tests to make sure that they do not um, um, infect the children. That is if they, I mean, if they are seen to have mm. um, contracted the, uh, the um, virus. So we have to put all these things in place. And then also in the classroom, where you used to have 20 children in a class, we would have to split that into two and have maybe just 10 children, and so that the children will be spaced out and they will not be so close to each other. Right. Of course, you know, it's not safe for us to have children wear, um, I mean, the younger ones wear masks, because it has been proven not to be safe for them. So we have to teach them how to maintain um, social uh, distances. And also, even in the classrooms where we have 10 children, we'll have about two teachers. So two teachers will be assigned to five children each, so that. I mean, sorry, one teacher will be, will be assigned to five children and the other teacher will be assigned to five children and they all stay, you know, at different areas in the, in the classroom so that the maintenance, the maintenance of social distance, I mean, so that the social distance is maintained. Is maintained. All right. Yes. It's important that you are reiterating these measures, you know, for both parents and students who will be back to school to listen and to hear. Um, for the most part, your, the staff will be the ones who have to be with these students, uh, you know, in school. How are you preparing them psychologically for this new development and these new operational measures, if you like? Well, it's, it's all about communication, you know, because there is uh, this... Um, there's this myth out there that um, coronavirus is not real. So 
So it, it's about us letting them know that coronavirus is real and letting them know the, the number of people that have, uh, that have died from this virus. So what we have to do is just we educate them and, re and, re -orient and give them some form of uh, reorientation and also make sure that they know that they have to go to test for, um, for the virus. Hmm. Thank you so very much, Adesha Ike, for your time. And please do keep safe out there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank right. you for having me.